For a deeper look into the play on D Street today, we have G. Chokalingam, founder of Economics Research with us. Mr. Chokalingam, what do you feel are the hits and misses of the last Samvad among some of the names that you've also been recommending over the past year? Where perhaps did you see uh, positive returns and where were the negative surprises? Yes, I mean, uh, it's a mix of uh, both the good performance and a little underperformance. Uh, I would uh, strongly, uh, you know, I've been recommending uh, Sun TV. Uh, if you look at uh, the Sun TV balance sheet, enormous cash is there. And the IPL, uh, you know, the new IPLs are valued at around 7,000 crore. Uh, industry values Sun TV IPL at around 6,000 crore. So if you consider valuation of IPL and plus uh, the free cash, the core business is uh, trading at uh, only around 5 PE. So that's one stock uh, we have been uh, strongly recommending. In another uh, stock in the small and mid-cap space is Kauai uh, Medical. Uh, this is uh, uh, an extremely attractive hospital stock. Uh, you, either you take a large hospital like Apollo Hospital or small hospitals uh, from Hyderabad, which are recently listed, they are all trading at anywhere from 3 crore rupees to 8 crore per bed. Enterprise value per bed ranges from rupees 3 crore to 8 crore. Whereas uh, Kauai Medical is available at uh, just uh, rupees 1 crore per bed. Apart from that, it has got uh, solid, uh, you know, uh, foray into uh, MBBS uh, medical education. And uh, the, the rarely, you know, listed companies have uh, the license to operate uh, medical institutions. There are only one or two in the country. So therefore, uh, this stock also we like a lot. As far as uh, large cap is concerned, I would say that uh, one can look at uh, you know no, HDFC Bank. It has been underperforming, but I'm pretty confident that uh, it would do extremely well uh, because despite a huge base, they have been doing well on uh, credit growth and maintaining the asset quality. Second, uh, Reliance Industry. In fact, I have been uh, positioning Reliance Industry as a Reliance Economy. Uh, I, I believe uh, Reliance Industry would emerge as a mini economy within four years. You know, after having a successful foray into oil and gas, chemicals, then retail and uh, then mobile, now they are getting into renewable energy and, uh, you know, fintech and this, there are so many uh, new initiatives. And they have already proven their capability to build the volume of business wherever they entered. So I believe that this would emerge as a mini economy in four to five years. And market would, uh, you know, discount that in next to three to four years. And I am giving, in fact, uh, you know, doubling on the stock price in about uh, four years' time. So these are the four stocks, uh, you know, I have uh, uh, high conviction without any doubt. Mr. Chokaling, what about PSU banks? Uh, what's on your list from the... Uh uh, financials uh, when it comes to the PSU basket we saw SPI really pull up uh, uh, the index today and a whole host of them in fact have been uh, you know looking good in terms of gains of late. I've been uh, last one year recommending uh, Bank of Maharashtra. It is surprising that uh, market has not properly valued Bank of Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, credit growth, deposit growth, net NPA percentage uh, or the share of low-cost deposit in to total deposit, that is uh, CASA deposit, it's really amazing. It, it stands out the best among the PSU banks. You know, I've been tracking the uh, banking sector for uh, about uh, nearly three decades. Uh, I have not seen any PSU bank uh, like Bank of Maharashtra, you know, emerging in terms of uh, these parameters, not in terms of size, but in terms of these parameters emerging as a mini HDFC bank. So this bank is just trading at around one-time book value. I believe compared to there are many small finance companies which are converted into bank and trading at a two to three times, this bank deserves minimum two times valuation. It's amazing. It's also dividend paying. So this is the one stock, Bank of Maharashtra, I believe, within the PSU space is the best bank. Uh, it's uh, promising to create wealth in the next two, one to two years. All right, Mr. Chokling, but do uh, share with our viewers also what's going on with the IT pack. Uh, you know, sure, returns plummeted at the end of the year, but uh, some mid-cap IT stocks today surging in trade. Uh, we've also got, uh, you know, the likes of a Tech Mahindra up 3%, lots of buy calls and an HCL Tech. Are valuations starting to look better at these levels? They, you know, they enjoyed uh, super rich valuations mm -hmm. uh, before the meltdown. Uh, some of the mid-sized IT companies have uh, reached even 40-50 PE yeah. and large companies had a 30-35 PE. 
and uh, you know it was war value but then the market punished them beyond what they deserve uh, because of uh, what's happening in nasdaq you know nasdaq uh, all of us know how the technology stocks got uh, butchered and second uh, uh, to be fair uh, the fundamentals also shrank on the domestic front because of employee cost so many of these companies have seen 50 60% year on year rise in the employee cost uh, if you ask me i think it has bottomed out it is uh, sector stocks have bottomed out uh, this is the I, i may be wrong but i believe firmly that this is the ideal time to pick up it stocks why i'm saying is that you know the rupee has uh, fallen uh, more than 10% in the last one year uh, of course all over the world the the currency depreciation is not helping uh, on export front the vendors have become smart but still the employee cost they will if they would be able to pass on Uh, to some extent, to a large extent, with the benefit of uh, rupee depreciation. And secondly, if you look at the industry, whether you take a top tier, uh, uh, you know, six seven companies or bottom of mid 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 segment of companies like LTI, uh, uh, you know, uh, many other emphasis persistent. Uh, the whole industry is uh, dominated by handful of companies. You know, if you take overall ten companies, top ten. i am sure they would account for almost 80% of the total it exports what i am trying to say is that uh, it's such a concentrated industry would be definitely be able to uh, pass on the employee cost and also they would be able to control the attrition rate and able to control the uh, you know aspirations of the it employees to their benefits and secondly the valuations uh, have come down a lot so therefore in fact we have been recommending uh, oracle financial software uh, in the small cap uh, gensa technology uh, gensa technology has fallen nearly 60% from the peak and it has got a you know the digital platform uh, which is 70% of the total business uh, which is one of the highest in the industry and also cash rich company and uh, trades at a very cheap and similarly oracle finance again close to 52 week low now uh, interestingly it's a subsidiary of 40 billion uh, us mnc and uh, trading at a two year low and it gives you you know 6% dividend yield if you go by the last year what dividend they have given and uh, the cheapest technology stock in the country trades at around 11 12 pe and uh, even in the la- last 10 years couple of times the oracle finance got beaten down badly it uh, you know it did reward the investors uh, with a phenomenal return and also very interesting this is a product company the product company uh, particularly for maintenance charges they have some cushion to get the benefit of uh, you know the rupee depreciation from the vendors so that my understanding so therefore these are the two stocks i believe uh, possibly can even create a wealth in the next one to two years because they are at uh, you know two year low great mr joklingam thanks for joining us and uh, taking us through some of your picks including uh, from the broader markets If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe